What's the most valuable thing you've destroyed in a fit of rage? I shot my college math textbook with a 44 mag revolver because the college would not buy it back. Turns out a 700 page hardcover textbook will stop 44 magnum rounds. Holy frick no wonder they're so expensive. A push button umbrella. It was $50, and they said it would never flip up in the wind cause of these special wind slits. Well, after flipping up in the wind for the hundredth time, I was so pee I closed the umbrella, stuck it through a chain link fence, opened it up on the other side, and ripped the whole thing back through the fence. It now sits permanently flipped up in a empty lot somewhere in the Bronx if anyone is interested. Oh man, that sounds so satisfying. Not me but my brother sold the family tuck sword to the scrap man when he got angry with my mum. It had been in the family for almost 600 years. After I lost a game in NFL Blitz for PS1, I pulled the disc out and snapped it in half. Proceeded to cry because dang that was a great game. Blitz. Four golf clubs into a pond. Expensive lesson over a game played for fun. Now I just drink and don't worry about my score. When I was 12, I was angry at my parents, so I threw my stuffed horse across my bedroom in anger. It hit my little sea monkey tank and it fell on the floor and spilled everywhere. I felt so bad and spent so long cleaning up tiny corpses. The day you have to clean up corpses, that's the day you change from a boy into a man. My tea of a brother locked me out of the house on one of my more irritable days. I had no tolerance for the sucker, so I punched out the glass door when he put his face up to it. His sticks plus my sticks plus the door equals about $3000. I am not proud of this. I do not like being angry. That sounds like some terminator crap. Threw a wedding band in the associated diamond engagement ring into a lake. I'm sure that I am not the first to do this. And some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. History became legend. Legend became myth. And for two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Not me, but my father once threw my PC out of the window. From the fifth floor, I was just a really introverted and shy guy in the school. I didn't have a lot of friends. So I spent most of my time in front of the monitor. My parents didn't like it and thought that raging at me was a good solution. It wasn't a 10 million dollar battle station, but still. My mother's outdoor clay fireplace. Kicked the crap out of it repeatedly until it broke in, then kicked it some more. I did it in response to finding burnt up remains of my beloved drawings. My mother burned them up, claiming they were demonic. In retrospect, I could have handled it better and tried talking to her first, but also in retrospect, I was just 16 at the time and goddamn it I love my drawings and you shouldn't just burn people's personal effects just because you don't like them. My mom made me burn all my magic cards when I was in 7th grade because grandma told her that there was something on the news about them being satanic. 100s of cards up in smoke because science didn't exist in the 90s and I hadn't learned how to tell her frick you yet. For me it was monetary, my laptop. My dad destroyed his pictures when his mom was killed and his father badly injured by a drunk driver. The driver got his license suspended for 2 months and my grandfather got no compensation for his injury or for losing his wife. The driver of the car they were in was also killed. My dad understandably raged and burned all of his pictures. Not sure why he would do that though. But this all happened before I was born so I don't know what he looked like before he was 40 aside from one passport photo. I hear about people doing this a lot, actually, and it seems to be a primarily male reaction. After my ex's grandmother died, the grandfather piled almost all of her stuff in the backyard and set fire to it. Photographs, cheap costume jewelry, clothes, everything that indicated she's ever lived in the house. The rest of the family was quite upset, I heard. I threw my brand new razor at my couch, and it proceeded to bounce off and smashed my bong, which then drowned my razor in bong water. They were the two most expensive items I'd ever bought. A hockey stick. Stupid composites things are freaking expensive. Another guy I play hockey with smashed his phone over the Sens non-goal in game 6 against the Habs last year, but he's kind of an idiot. Raging because the Sens loss doesn't seem like a healthy thing to do given their track record. I'm from Ottawa, please don't kill me. 
I gave my GBA a solid headbutt in rage following a loss to Gary whilst playing Pokemon. Resulted in a cracked screen. I told my mom I dropped it down the stairs so she bought me a new one. Gary is a bastard. For me, it was Whitney's mill tank that did this to me. I'm a pastor's kid. We were just like the Duggar family. So one morning, I got caught listening to Ozzy Osbourne. My mom broke the CD in half. We were standing in front of the Sony 5 disc player and I quickly grabbed Christian University Gospel CDs and snapped them in half. I broke a dozen before she could stop me. Yeah, it might have been a short thing for me to do, but I was living in heck being unable to make any choices for myself or be openly bisexual. Sophomore year in high school, I kicked a hole in the gym weight room. It was Wednesday, and that meant dodgeball day. However, the gym teacher decided to pull a little switcheroo, and made us do more lifting. That really pee me off, and so I kicked a big hole in the weight room. It wasn't my intention to actually do some damage, so I had an oh crap moment. While my friend was laughing his butt off, I got a gym mat and propped it against the wall where the hole was. Here's where the value comes in. After a few days, the gym teacher found the hole. I never got caught, as he just assumed that some guy accidentally jammed a bar in the wall. This discovery led to an entire renovation of the weight room. New walls, new equipment, which must have cost a fortune. Ah, but new walls and equipment. I ripped the door off a car. I'm a stout guy. I threw it open so hard the hinges went all fucky. That peed me off even more so I slammed into it a couple times and it ripped free. I felt like a beast but boy did it suck. Oh. Valuable in other ways. In a fit of depression I got rid of all my old jerseys and trophies and patches from my two seasons on a state champ football team. And pretty much everything else that was childhood in my big box of mementos. Frick. My sister's laptop. When I threw it across the room, I don't regret it. When my little sister was 17 I caught her putting on live cam shows for money. This was just the latest in the long list of bad decisions she'd made. She's mentally ill, bipolar and borderline, and has a lot of emotional problems due to early childhood abuse. She was adopted by my family when she was 7. My parents took her laptop and cell phone grounded her, and told her she was going to be going to therapy. That night she snuck out her window and ran off with some friends. The next day she got in contact with her birth mother's family, telling them a sob story about how my parents abused her. They bought her a plane ticket to go find her birth mother. The day before her flight, she showed up at my parents house demanding her stuff, cell phone, laptop, etc. My parents agreed to give her all her clothing and personal items but not the cell phone. They were talked into giving her the laptop because she had bought it with her money, allowance from my parents. She showed up at the door with brand new facial piercings and a cheap illegal tattoo from a scratcher. She'd gone from looking like a sweet girl to complete trash overnight. My dad begged her to consider coming home. He said he wouldn't punish her if she'd just agree to therapy. She started screaming at him, saying he and my mom were the worst thing that ever happened to her and that she hated them. She said she'd rather have been with her mom, who was a M addict, in and out of prison. I will never forget the look on my dad's face. It is the only time I've ever seen him cry. I can't remember what I yelled at her. It was probably pretty awful. I think I called her a W and said she'd be knocked up and addicted to drugs within a year. Just like her birth mom. I regret what I said, but I don't regret what I did to her laptop. The look on her face as her precious laptop sailed out of my hand and crashed into the wall is one of my favorite memories. She left for Nevada the next day. Four months later she called my parents crying, begging for them to come rescue her. She didn't tell them she was pregnant until she was back home. TL. DR. Horrible adopted sister broke my dad's heart. I broke her laptop. My Xbox 360. I got into argument with my girlfriend. She said I cared more about my 360 than about her. So I went and ripped it out of the wall and smashed it on the ground. She was speechless. I chomped down on my iPod touch once when I got frustrated with a game of Pokemon I was playing. Shattered that screen to bits. A Parker pen. It's not like it was that expensive or anything but my father, who does not usually buy stuff for us, bought it for me when we were not financially stable and one day I got very angry about school and I threw my pen at a wall. 
It didn't work after that and I felt incredibly guilty about it. It makes me sad because even though my parents had very little themselves and were in risk of losing our house they bought me a nice pen to use at school and I discarded their sacrifice in a fit of rage. That hurts more than most of the stories in this thread. I got mad because I heard my family talking about me downstairs and smashed a glass. I felt so bad that I never broke anything ever again. Now when I'm mad I just punch the ever living crap out of a pillow. I resorted to a pillow after I punched a sizable hole in my desk, definitely a better choice. My parents gave me a dresser when I moved into my apartment with my, now, ex. It was their first dresser they had when they moved into their first apartment. It was old but in perfect condition, included a mirror as well. When I found out my ex cheated, I ripped that mirror off the dresser so hard and threw it. It was large, I am small, shattered everywhere. It breaks my heart to this day. I know I can put a new mirror in it but I'm still freaking ashamed. My straightener BC I'm pregnant and my hormones are insane and my boyfriend texted me confessing that he spent $300 at the strip club so I threw my straightener across the room. Turns out he was just playing a joke on me. My straightener cost $250 and I got it as a gift from my grandma who passed away. My skin. Well it still works as a skin, but it's awful to look at and I can't wear shorts or short sleeves or go swimming. When my childhood dog was put to sleep I didn't stay with him. I was only 15 and my parents made me leave. When I got home I was so upset that I went on a bit of a rampage and didn't really break anything of value but in that moment I stopped being the person Jesse had known me as and that was so much worse than breaking anything material. I loved him like he was a little brother, he was my only friend when the kids at school didn't like me. He loved me and I knew it but in those few minutes he would have been terrified of me. My childhood dog was named Jessie. I had her from when I was 6 until I was 21. I was at my parents house while they were out of town and she fell into the hot tub in the backyard. I found her in the morning. I've never cried that hard. I miss my little pup. When I was around 8 years old my dad left me and my mum for a year to break a world record for circumnavigation of the globe in a biodiesel boat. He would send postcards and presents but I would throw them all out because I was so mad. One time he sent me a signed picture of Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson when he met them in San Francisco. I torn it up and threw it away. That thing could have been worth thousands. Still haunts me to this day. Um. Don't think thousands. So don't beat yourself up. Maybe like 50 bucks. PS3 Remote. I was mid-mission in a level that was really freaking hard and took me forever to get to that spot. My mom is yelling at me to come to dinner. I tell her in a minute. What does she do? She comes into my room and pulls the freaking power. I tossed, quite hard, the remote to the floor. It ended up breaking. Her little act also ended up crashing the hard drive causing me to lose all my data. I threw away a box full of letters and photos I had for years. Didn't realize a photograph of my nana with me and my two sisters was there. It had writing in the back. My sisters still have theirs. Now I have no nana and no photo equals. I did that whole, you're calling me crazy? I'll freaking show you crazy scene and threw my BF's favorite vase and instead of it hitting a wall, it smashed my favorite coffee table. But hey, at least I showed him what crazy was. I've had a few episodes where I got tunnel vision and ended up destroying quite a few things. It led my mother to thinking I had IED, or intermittent explosive disorder. I told her it was simply the fact I had a father that thought it was his job to make my life as miserable as possible because I was unemployed at the time, and it didn't matter how hard I was looking for work nor did it matter that my mother, his wife, was suddenly very ill and I was, at the time, the only one really taking any care of her. Anyways I've destroyed countless cell phones. It's a good thing I stick with cheap pay as you go phones. I remember I went out to see a friend after about a month of pretty much being stuck in my house and the second we meet up, I get a call pretty much saying that I had to be home for something benign and that my dad needed to borrow money from me. I chucked that sucker into a tree and it exploded into many, many pieces. I've destroyed a vacuum cleaner. I've destroyed a washer by kicking in the front, which caused the drum to go off balance. 
oh and I did that barefoot. Worst was I got in a fight with my father and so I took a golf club to the rear quarter panel of his truck. I actually punctured the sheet metal and now he has a square foot of bondo on his truck to cover them up. I've put holes in walls. Countless dishes. So, that's definitely bad. You should find some better outlets. Even if your situation is terrible, violence isn't good, and you could end up hurting someone instead of just something. The worst thing I did as a kid was bite on my DS Lite's top screen after losing a frustrating level in Super Monkey Ball. The bite marks are still there. Frick that game was hard. I bought my GF some expensive glasses she didn't like them so I threw them shoots out the window. No fricks given. It turned out she did like them so we turned back around to get em but they were completely destroyed. Well that was just dumb from all parties involved. My relationship. The glasses I smashed were cheap. The phone screen didn't even break. But he will never trust me again. This is. Sad. Fiance threw a tantrum and smashed the laptop we had bought him that day. Normally I don't buy the protection policies but I did because taking it on job sites. Things happen. Lucky us it had just sold out so they upgraded us. A window. I was quite depressed at the time and have never been one to get angry. I usually just get sad. This particular morning, however, caught me off guard. I can't really remember the reason, but my so had really pee me off. And he left for work with both of us in a half. I tried to tell him something as he walked out the door. He pretended not to hear. I called his name a few times. He continued to ignore me. By the time he was outside. We lived in a block of flats. First floor. I was pretty pee off. I went to the bedroom window and knocked on it to get his attention. This continued until I was hammering the freaking thing with my both my fists. Obviously harder than I imagined because it shattered. Luckily it was the kind that shatters but doesn't go everywhere. Like a windscreen. So there was a hole in it but the entire thing didn't fall out of the frame. He didn't notice. It wasn't as loud as you'd imagine. And I was instantly horrified. In fact I was so embarrassed I called loads and loads of companies straight away. Managed to get two men to come and fix it. And pretend that nothing ever happened. It cost me almost 200 pounds and a day's work. To top it all off when the window was fixed and the workmen were leaving. I heard them discussing the situation in the communal corridor. They wondered how such a tiny person. I'm 5 feet 1. Who looks so sweet could be such a nut job. I haven't lost my rag since. And I have never. Ever told a soul. It's kinda good to get it off my chest actually. Sorry for the long post and any typos. My friend texted me saying he had been hooking up with my longtime girlfriend for months. I asked her about it and she just started bawling. I threw my iPhone 5 as hard as I could. It hit her car and exploded. Her car was fine thank god. Turns out she wasn't even cheating on me. He just drunkenly assaulted her and thought destroying our relationship was a better route than apologizing. Lesson learned here. Don't confront people like an butthole and let them explain things before you throw away hundreds of dollars. Last year I chucked my KU car magnet on the ground and broke it in half after they lost in the second round of March Madness. The reason I don't wear watches anymore isn't because there is a clock on my cell phone. It is because I have destroyed so many of them in my time that getting another one is just a waste of money. Something small will go wrong with the watch. Maybe some condensation gets under the glass. Or the clasp gets a little bent. Or there isn't a hole in the right place so it is always too tight loose. It doesn't matter. Rather than simply fix it I would always yank it off my wrist and just hurl it away from me. Preferably into the ocean or someplace equally dramatic. It is weird because I don't have these anger issues with anything else but watches. And my uncle died and left me a really nice one. Like it is worth over $5,000. I refuse to wear it and it is just sitting in a box until my nephew is old enough to take it from me. A pencil when I was about 7 I have no idea why it made me feel like the worst person. I just sat there crying. I have never broken anything since then in a fit of rage I guess my body just thought myself an important lesson. I shattered a ginger butthole's self esteem when he took to sexually harassing my gf in a fit of rage. So that was fun. Story time. So, my gf and I have been dating since early January. Things going well. 
But every once in a while, this ginger butthole would say something creepy and or just crappy to her, which I wouldn't find out about until it was too late afterwards to say anything about it. Until, one day, in April, she was in her vocal studio class, which he was also in. She had her music folder with her. He asked her, are you performing today to which she said maybe, if no one else was. Then he dropped this, you shouldn't, because your vagina is hanging out of your shorts. She immediately texted me to let me know why he had done. I told her to let me know when class was over, and I would deal with him. My rage at this pitiful excuse of a man was 11 stroke 10. I'm a gentle person, for the most part. I never really get mad, or even annoyed. It took every ounce of self control I had to not slaughter this guy. So, I just walked in after the class was over, spun him around, and told him never speak to her like that again to which he proclaimed ignorance, and said he had no idea what I was talking about. I then grabbed him by the neck, said, you know dang well what I'm talking about, don't do IT again then I dropped him to the freaking ground, and left. I shattered that little butthole's self esteem, but I didn't, and still don't, give a single frick about doing it. TL. DR. Don't sexually harass my girlfriend. At 13 I was really angry at my parents and I walked up the stairs stomping my feet so hard the fire alarm fell down from the ceiling below and shattered into pieces. Me and my friend got into a silly little argument over an achievement and wow. And he got super pee and punched his $1200 gaming laptop. I had to do all I could to not laugh because I was so taken aback by what he did. A $40 electric shaver. I got it for my dad when I was 9 for a Father's Day present. He never opened it. It just sat there, idle, in the bathroom for 4 years. My brother's shaver broke, so he just gave him the dust collecting one. I felt terrible that a gift was just passed along so casually. I was hurt. I dropped it down the stairs. Hat is the only thing I have broken rage. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.